Okay, so in this video, we're going to be uh, calculating a parent slip, which is uh, problem one uh, on page one of one of your handouts there, okay? And so I'm going to do this uh, video. I'm just going to um, assume that you have memorized the formula, the formulae, and I'm just going to do it. Um, I'll shoot another video that shows how to derive the formulas, okay? But in this one, uh, we'll just assume that you know what the formulas are for this, okay? So they're really, we're going to use four different formulas in order to calculate this, okay? Um, we're going to need to uh, a formula to calculate our observed speed. We're going to need a formula to calculate our engine speed. And then we're going to uh, uh, compare those two. We're going to create a ratio of those two to calculate our efficiency. So we'll divide uh, observed speed by the engine speed. Uh, and then we will subtract that from 100 to get slip. So here's the four formulas we're going to use. One, observed speed is distance over time. Okay. And two, engine speed, okay, it's going to equal pitch times RPM times 60. Now that is a conversion factor from minutes uh, to hours over 6080, which is a conversion factor from na uh, feet to nautical miles, okay? Uh, once we have both of those two things calculated, okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the efficiency, which is going to be the observed speed over the engine speed, okay? So we'll just take, uh, we're going to have to calculate this, we'll have to calculate that, and we'll substitute them into this formula. And then the fourth formula you're going to need is to calculate slip, and slip is... 100% minus efficiency, okay? So once we calculate this, we'll, we'll substitute it into that, okay? So great. So now we're going to look at this problem, and we're going to uh, solve for the observed speed first, okay? So the propeller on a vessel has a diameter of 24.6 feet and a pitch. By the way, pitch is totally a distractor. We're not interested in that at all. Um, we're only interested in the, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, <laughs> we're totally interested in our pitch, okay? We're very interested in our pitch. It's our diameter that we're not really concerned with right now, okay? Diameter is in there as a distractor. We need the pitch. It's going to be part of this formula. So, uh, but we don't need that just yet. So we're looking for information about our observed speed. So what would be the apparent slip of the vessel cruised 440, 462 miles in 24 hours? Well, so 462 uh, divided by 24 is going to be nautical miles per hour. So that's our speed. So I got to go 462 divided by uh, 24 nautical miles divided by uh, per 24 hours. Okay. And when I do that, I'm going to get 19.3 knots. Okay. Great. Now let's calculate the engine speed. So the engine speed is going to be the pitch times the RPM, okay? So I'm going to write these things fully out. So the pitch is 26.1 feet per revolution times the RPM, which they give us uh, the RPM was uh, 72. So 72 revolutions per minute. The revolutions are going to cancel out right there, okay? Now I need my conversion factor because i got to go from minutes to hours. So I'm going to multiply by 60 minutes per hour, so the minutes go away, and now I need to go from feet to nautical miles times uh, a one nautical mile for every 6,080 feet, okay? And so now I've canceled everything out. I've essentially done this formula. So it's 26 times RPM times 60 divided by uh, 6080, okay? And when I do that, uh, you should get uh, 18.5, okay? So our actual performance was 19.3 knots. Theoretically, we should have gone 18.5 knots. So we must have had a little bit of current or wind behind us boosting us. Great. So our efficiency is more than 100%. We're pretty excited about this, okay? Uh, so here we go. Efficiency is now going to be the observed speed, 19.3. 19.3 knots divided by the actual engine speed, okay, our, our theoretical engine speed, which is 18.5 knots. Knots cancel out. 19.3 divided by 18.5 gives me 1.04, okay? So I have a, 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 an efficiency. If I, uh, typically, we talk about efficiency in percent. So I'm now I'm going to multiply this by 100%, and that's going to give me an efficiency of 104%. Great. So, 
Um, that's our efficiency, but typically uh, we also want to know what our slip is, and our slip is going to be sort of the, uh, uh, the complement of efficiency. So slip is going to equal 100% minus efficiency. So that's going to equal 100% minus 104, which is going to be negative uh, uh, zero, negative, excuse me, negative four. Okay, negative four percent. And that is our efficiency. If we had taken it out one more decimal, it would have been negative 3.8 or 3.9 percent. Okay, and that's how we do those problems uh, if you're going to solve them um, uh, having memorized your formulas.